Paris. Yves Saint Laurent stylishly advances towards spring and a hint of summer, with creations guaranteed to startle the eye and leave other couturiers standing, if not gasping with envy. It's been a mild winter, but we're in for an astonishing spring. To the eyes of mere man, the fashion models tend to be a bit straight up and down. Saint Laurent is stressing woman's femininity. A departure from anything else Paris has to offer is a creation inspired by the emergent countries. Clearly, from toe to top, the ultra-smart woman will give zest to every man's heartfelt rendering of I love Paris in the springtime. London. Have some more tea, said the hatter. I haven't had any yet, said Alice, so I can't have more. You mean you can't have less, said the hatter. In other words, we're at the Mad Hatter's Tea Party, presented by the London Tourist Board and the Millinery Institute. The hats may not be ideal for the office, if yours is a stuffy office, but they're brimful of ideas for the Easter bonnet. Love Story has a theme of two pandas. At the first Hatter's Tea Party, the hat worn by the host was marked, this style, ten and sixpence. Prices have tended upwards since those days. But take heart, nothing at this party is very dear, and you can always splash out a bit at Easter. This one is called Charm. And this, Ice Maiden. Not so cold as she sounds. When the Easter parade is held in Battersea Park, perhaps the show stealer will be Post Office Tower, surely the height of fashion. At the G